guys, it's Tyler Beast and it's Roy Cruz here. We are here for our next part of the matchup as we're about to be seeing the next WNBA team. The next matchup we have is Dallas Wings facing against the Seattle Storm. The next part of it, as we are about to be seeing for one of the biggest of they all, the better take is what they are looking for. Right in between those two, between the Dallas Wings and the all you know for the Storm, this is a great match to have a better take where you have. Now the better take is, as we have the head coach for the Dallas Wings, it's Latricia Tamel, and definitely a head coach for previously has been the assistant coach for the Los Angeles Sparks and the San Antonio Stars. Right now the Stars are not in it anymore. They have relocated this and they wanted to change everything up right along the way. So as you can see, this is the only team that's happening right in between. We have a new team that's coming underway. It's the all you know for the Golden State. It's what the new team is going to bring things on that they have. And for the Seattle Storm, it's Noelle Quinn. It definitely happened to be after Sue Bird's retirement, but they all really love it. She's the greatest player of the WNBA. Exactly true. Here are the story in lineups as we have the wings in the store. Ariki Agubali, Louis Lopez, Spanishel, Natasha Howard, Satui Sapella, and Jarrell McCullough. The other side for the Seattle store, we have Skylar Diggins-Smith, Joel Lloyd, Victoria Vivens, Nahida Agwumiki, and Easy McBedgore. Now it's time to get you down here towards to Seattle at Climate Pledge Arena to give a start and get this day going. We'll see you all later here in a couple of the games in between the game breaks, halftime show, and the post game show. Now enjoy yourself for the wings in the store. Guys, all yours. Anybody knock her off of her spot, and also she can score Please anywhere on the floor inside. Get ready to push up. First person to foul, teams first. Diggins Smith with it. Pass to Lloyd. Launches a three. Rebound Dallas. Solid. Outside Howard. Oh! And she was fouled in the act of shooting the opportunity for a three-point play. 
Kings first. You can't let her get a shot off in that situation. Howard can finish with contact. Plus, she's a pretty solid foul shooter. Looking at Natasha Howard, what a job she's done remaking her game. Well, you look at her first four years, she made just uh, four total three-pointers. But as the game has evolved, so has Natasha adding that three-point stroke. Credit her for putting in that off-season work. player over her first four years in the league, Natasha Howard finally got the chance to start in 2018 with Seattle, helping the Storm to a WNBA championship. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky she was off. I just hope that was a mistake by the D, because if that's how they plan to guard her, they're going to have serious problems. A Google all a no good. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. You can't leave anyone open on Dickens Smith's team. You're asking to get hurt when you do that. Now here's a Google Wale. And we're just about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Tries it for 19. Howard. Howard. And she finishes nicely on the layup. What an absolute force McCallan is down low. The board, the points, what a talent. Pass to McNamara. Vivians. Now here is Lloyd. Just five to shoot. Oh, Gumake. Sinks that one from the post. As he laying the weight of enthusiasm. As he back the door. Big second chance bucket. Lopez and a shawl outside. Inside. And that one's good. Solidly. She picks her out brilliantly with that feed inside. To the paint. Scorer like Lloyd, who can also pass the ball accordingly. Lopez and a shawl outside. Pass to McCowan. Takes the three. They get the rebound. Lopez and a shawl with it. Covered by Lloyd. Back to McCowan. To the inside. Sabali. Score the basket. First second of two attempts. Fantastic dish from McCallum. Easy hoop for the team. I love it when the center can move the ball. Pass to McNamara for three. And it's Lopez Seneschal with the rebound. Dallas in the lead. Howard covered by Vivians. And here's McCallum. Here's Sabali. Over Ogumake, and again, it's Dallas converting. Yes, and when the mid-range shot becomes available, Sabali takes it. And that's how it should be. She lets the game come to her naturally. Here's McNamara. McCowan defending. The offensive rebound. Here's Dickens Smith. Good on the shot. That's on play by the post shot. Dickens Smith scooping up the board and getting some second chance points. Wale, guarded by Diggins Smith. Outside Howard. Back to Mumba Wale. Pass to Sabali. Over Ogumake. And it falls. A small over the rim and in. Perhaps the D was focusing too much on Ogumba Wale. Maybe that's why she found a wide open teammate. Outside Lloyd. Yes, and it's Skyler Diggins-Smith with the assist that time. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here's a Google Wale. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Back to Howard. Pass to McCowan. Storm with the rebound. 
The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Boy. Sometimes it looks like Boy can do anything she wants out there. Down the switch. Time called here. The Wings decide to talk it over. Twenty at Australia, Ezzy Magdebor had quite the rookie season. Now she was just 20 at the time, helping Seattle to the Wubble title. And with each year in the league, Magdebor's really made strides, turning into one of the top shot blockers in the W. It's not just the only way, but we haven't really ever like, seen what goes in. And the better way to ask it right now is just really like, understanding what they're playing it for. And this is definitely just unbelievable. You really are expecting that this one is really turning to be like almost everything is impossible. So you're playing it for something that's real. You kind of want the importance when you do this. How does that really happen? I don't know. It's going to be played. It's so, so crucial. And this is what happens in Seattle still. They're falling behind. But now, they found a way to get right back into it. So, it looks like they did right now is they got it back in in no time. Yeah, they, I see it like. A lot of great takes in the team, but you can always, you can't just mix up and go one of the team and you're trying to make it clear on that every other one. It's the exciting team, it doesn't mean to anybody, you get it all at once. Now back to the action right now, to Blake. All for you. Oh, you know, the Here's a good wallet. He hasn't yet put up any points for this one. Two minutes. Senegal. Back to Ubalale. Billings shoots over Russell. And another miss by Dallas. Outside Whitcomb. Thorsten. Well timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. <laughs> what a make. Thorsten. Impressive stuff there. Lopez Senegal outside. Billings. Excellent D there for Mercedes Russell. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have, staying aggressive and playing with control. And plenty of contact on the shots, so the two free throws coming up. First, I love Jordan Morrison's game. Really an old school style wing. Tremendous defense. Morrison doesn't take a lot of threes, prefers to work inside, does work on the boards as well, willing to do anything to win a game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. She's off on the first. Oh, well, Jordan Horston might be 6'2. Her best skill is rebounding, doing those little things around the bucket. the second from the line. Here's a good wall end. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Billings. Outside for Segrist. And stolen by Horston. And here is Diggins Smith. Goes in. Really nice pass from Horston showing some playmaking. Outside of Gugawale. Pass him around. Back to Gugawale. Zebris. Gets a three pointer to fall. I mean, that shot just becomes effortless for her when the defense is so relaxed like that. Here's Diggins Smith, guarded now by Agumawale. And here's Diggins Smith. Just five on the clock. Second chance shot. Ah, no good. 
Chelsea Owner Bruce Porter. Seattle Storm, 18. Dallas Wings, 15. Storm, leading by three. And quarter two will get underway just after this short break. And it's been a tight one here as the second quarter getting going. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we see from the Storm? I like what we're seeing for them going right at the basket. Tons of points down there in the paint. They've been the aggressor early, attacking the hoop and getting in the paint. Seattle leading. Here's Whitcomb. From outside, off the mark. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely right. She's got to go right back to that shot. Upload that one online. Open Wally flashing some sick moves. Plus, she gets to the hoop. Now, here's Whitcomb. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And a foul on Echo Bukic. That'll be her second foul of the game. and a shawl outside. Outside, Agumawale. Howard. Good, and the assist goes to Agumawale. And when we talk about a team going for a rebuild, what's important? Bit of an obvious answer, but you just have to hit your draft picks. The best way to acquire franchise-level talent is through the draft. So you better nail your picks. In that same game, Lucky to keep back here. Winning the lottery helps, but it also who's the number one pick? Is it a player like Asia Wilson who can change the course of your franchise, or is it someone who's more of a role player? That, that's beyond team's control. Howard, we cover five idiots. Natasha Howard, second personal foul. Strong ball. Now Whitcomb. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. And there's a call on Sabu. That's her first foul. foul team's first. first team foul. And here's the storm now. Lloyd from long range. I love when Lloyd takes the back to Dallas She doesn't give the defense any time to react. Dallas calls timeout. You see it very all over the back of bucket right now, and you can say that Dallas stopped songs, and they are just really are stepping their way. They're pushing their, they're losing their record, but Seattle Storm, they are just flying it down their path. They really are going all over everywhere right this moment. Nobody gets them seeing like this. Well, as right at the moment, this one is going to keep on coming down right now. Seattle Storm is pushing right now. They're trying to get away from it. I know, they are absolutely doing that. You don't even expect a thought they are playing it like this. They've done it so hard. With the chromatic of their run, they have nowhere else to see how it's going to happen. That's like a hard play of all time. You never see what goes in. That time show is coming up here later, so that will be on the other side. We're going to cover it pretty soon after the first half that comes to a complete. And we'll keep you back on court for the second half of the WNBA Dallas Wings in the store. I'll be all you know for one of the did. Especially when you can always do for now. Try to just keep the time out and then get back into the game and get ready. See you guys that if you can. All right, we'll see you all later very soon. Right to this. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Agunwale with it. Pass to McCallum. Baked in off the glass. Well, this is where she's going to make her money professionally. 6-7 with touch. McCallum will score points in the paint for years. Now here's Whitcomb. Back to McCowan defending. 
Park down low that time. And he's getting the three second call. Defending. Lopez Seneschal outside. Outside of Gumawale. That three off the mark. Here's Lloyd. Pass to McNamore. Back to Lloyd. Fires from deep. No good there. They had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And when she's open like that, you don't see her miss that sort of look very often. Absolutely no fear, guys. Mixing it up in the paint with bigger players. That senior progression of Natasha Howard throughout her decade in the WNBA, man, it's been fun to witness. Yeah, she didn't start much in her first four seasons, but she has turned herself into a powerful force out of the way. No question, Ogumike knows how to move inside, runs into some contact, but goes right up to finish strong. Sabali, she's covered by Ogumike. Lopez we'll finish all outside. That one falls. Oh, this is a big assist by Satu Sabali. Trying to bump Lopez Seneschal off for a game. Good luck. She's a locked in shooter. Outside Lloyd. Ogumike left side. And it's Lopez Seneschal with the rebound. Dallas trailing here. Pass to McCowan. Enrique Agumboale on the wing. Down low. Puts it up from 12, and Dallas again with the bucket. Check out Sabali on the catch and shoot right there. No hesitation at all. Completely focused on the top. That's how you have to be. Now, trying to call by Seattle. And during the 2020 Bradenton bubble, Arike Agumbawale won the scoring title. So impressive, doing it just her second year at just 23 years old. Arike uh, holding off Asia Wilson down the stretch of that season, averaging just about 30 during the last four games to secure the scoring time. And there's a lot of solutions out there. It's going to be a lot of takes in, so got to get to it. We'll be right back with you shortly, right into this one, and then we'll get back into the game to finish it up. All right, we're back in now. Let's get this game done and finish up with the first half. And the lead is making a change here. Mengiadu. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Horston. Fires for three. The rebound by the wings. It's Lou Lopez and Shaw on the wing. Covered by Vivians. That went no good. Seattle leading. Left side, Vivians. Mm -hmm. The glass to finish the layup. Fantastic shot by Vivians. Staying focused on the task at hand. Pass to Brown. Now Lopez Seneschal. Covered by Vivians. Howard with Two the minutes ball. remaining in the first half of the game. Two, Two, Two minutes. Two minutes. Lopez Seneschal. Free throw line jumper. And it's rebounded by Mengiadu. Here's Diggin Smith. Pass to Mengiadu. That one falls. She can time her passes so perfectly. What an assist. And the gets the foul. Offensive foul on the wings. First foul. Yeah, yeah, Terrific defense. It's first team foul. Cut her off. First team foul. Square it up. Nice play. Yeah, that's showing some toughness on defense. Getting physical, sticking her nose in there, and making a play. Now here's Russell. Pass to Horston. And here's Mejiadu. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Tierra McCowan. To the right side. To the middle. That's a bucket. 
third, third of the game. He got the ball seven times. Not much of a distributor, but Brown's feel for the game is strong enough to help her spot open teammates. Pass to Horston. Benjiadu. McCowan defending. To the inside. And Benjiadu gets it to go. She's been key for them, the way she's distributed the ball. No doubt. Uh, look, when the offense runs through her, it's smooth operation. And a shot by Howard, no good. Outside, Diddy's. On the lane, Jordan Horsey. No good on the three. About three seconds between the shot clock and game clock. A three for Natasha Howard. That ball Natasha. is in the basket. She's now shot six and made three. Well, you used to not even guard Howard beyond the arc. But uh, guess what? In the 2018 playoffs with Seattle, winning the championship, she shot 50% from three-point land. A huge addition to her skill set. Here's Megan Smith. That's the end of the first half. Seattle score 32. Seattle In a game that has been very close so far. It's the storm. They need by a lucky. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. All right, guys, thank you so much. Time to check out what the first half is up to. Starting with you, near Roy Cruz, Chris Storm. Storm has been battling along with just a lot of fighting in between of AO's alley, and they're making it a lot of an easier work on a transition out there. Maybe not one of the hard, crownable runs, but it's going to be a tight one to take. And now over to you, Tyler, for the Dallas Winners. You know, scoring wasn't really easy in that, but they were trying to, like, trying to get up to extend the lead, but they are really are closing the gap into right around their gorge. They're not really, like, trying to let them get right back into it, but this is a lot of hard transition that they need to do. They've got to play some a lot of hard education. Well, let's hope there's more. And now we will head back over to the court where we send you over to play. Thanks for joining the halftime show. See you next time. And it's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. One of the stories here, Lloyd is getting it done today. Well, in terms of her points in the first half, that's pretty much what uh, we've come to expect. Which tells you really all you need to know about what a strong talent she is. I mean, I'm going to bet that she adds a lot more to her totals after the break. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half to get underway. Outside, Diggins Smith. Outside, Vivians. Up to Lloyd. From deep. It falls for the beautiful football of the night. Now shooting five for eight. Whatever the team needs for Lloyd, it feels like she's right there to provide it. Tonight, it's been her story. A talent with the bucket. During the offseason prior to the 2023 season, we saw the Aces and Liberty add former MVPs. Arguably became super teams. Do uh, you guys think this is going to be the new norm? Well, with the new rules in terms of roster building, I think so. Well. I mean, you see older players like a Candace Parker go to Vegas, Courtney Vandersloot go to New York. That's who've accomplished everything. They just want to win. Uh, totally. And listen, only one team can win the title. So when you have a certain teams building for the future, naturally, super teams will form in the squads trying to win now. And for Satu Sabali, her college coach described her as maybe the most interesting player he's worked with. Well, she plays in a front court, but has the quickness and ball skills ball ball. of a backcourt guard. Range threes at one end, then blocks shots at the other. I think we've got to start calling her a unicorn, guys. Exciting young talent with an incredibly high ceiling. I envision Satu Sabali making a major impact in this league. Now here's Diggins Smith. Pass to Vivians. Plays it off the glass. I got 
Vivian using her strength to get the score. And it's the Wings ball. Here's the Google Wallet. And the layup is good. Good shot for her there, but it's strange that she's not calling for the ball today like she normally does. She has to do more if her team wants to pull ahead. Now here's Magdor. Basket counts. Nice awareness there by Magdor finding her open teammate for the bucket. Outside Sobley. A good Wale. Right side Sobley. It's stolen by Ogumake. Ogumake with the ball. And it's Howard picking her up. And a shot goes down. Look at how eager Leroy runs the floor. And that's what coaches appreciate. She knows better than to waste the fast break chance. Pass to McCowan. Storm with the rebound. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. Now here's Diggins Smith. Now here's Agumake, guarded by Savaly. Magbogor, no good. The wings trail. Here's Agumawale. That's good. And it's Natasha Howard with assist. Just wanting it more. Agumawale beating a strong contest. Pass to Ogumake. Vivians, guarded by Howard. Here's Lloyd. Magmagor with the ball. Five to shoot. Scott Lane Smith outside. And storms a tough play. The look of the Dota swings. Well, you know, Smith is a great driver of the ball, so defenders almost have to, to make a choice for you. Dallas calls timeout. Now in the second half of her career, Skylar Diggins Smith is leading well into her veteran years. She's someone her teammates certainly look up to, because her strong work ethic is what allows her to remain so effective as a player. The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Google. And by your love of Kia dealers. The movement that inspires. Because next month might is the day, so stay tuned for the announcement. As you'll have the next one here coming that's underway here on the day of October. So you'll find out sooner or later if there's anything in between for an animated sanity for now. But this will be the last one, so keep your eyes peeled. You never know what's coming on. We'll make some of you guys. Next one! Well, that's Dallas with the ball. Trailing by five. Seabrist outside. To the paint. A kick out to Ogumawale. Billings. Lopez and Shaw. Covered by Lloyd. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. On the wing, Sammy Whitcomb. Ogumake up top. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Whitcomb. Back to Whitcomb. A three-pointer, no good. They got lucky. They got lucky. And the defense has taken a big chance leaving her open behind the arc. And I'm not sure I'm okay with that game plan. Uh, and the fast break for the Storm. Here's Vinians. And it's rebounded by Satu Sabali. So it's Dallas now. It's a five-point game. Another shot, and it's good on the layup. Well, Sopley has a real nose for the boards. She gets the rebound and sends it right back up and in. Pass to McBegor. Now here's Agumake. And here's McBegor. 
the bar. Smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. You can all have to be right. Three points out quickly above. Well, I don't see I'm still What an ball. answer. You come at me with a three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. So I call Peter the score and decide to talk it over. One of the most consistent scores in the WNBA, Enrique Bukawala. And you want to talk instant impact? Arike finished third in scoring for rookie year. Every season, she gives you just about 20 per game, but Bukawala has one of the best career averages in league history as well. You know, the thing happened right now in the Seattle Storm, they really are going over and under it. There's no hesitation that they're really trying to like let them go off at the bank. The better pointer is, give a suggestion and give a little bit of feedback to give the image to it. You get very low, you're not going to make a pop at this time, but you got to make sure you have that in your way. Especially in need, it's going to be a little bit, a lot of changing out there, so there might be one chance that's going to get there right into it to it to give that one a good look. You'll see what happens if there's another change up to give it a good look. The possibilities are endless right now. I mean, you can't never go wrong with that. And true indeed. Horston. Two minutes remaining in a furrow. Two minutes. They get it again. Right wing. Now here's Lloyd. Defense right on. That one goes. Count it. 
I really got it. It's been an exceptional performance from her from the field. Here's Billings. That's the end of the third quarter. Seattle score. 51. Dallas wins. 48. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Slice the deep wide open with this feed. And they really had no chance to prevent this basket. Yeah, it was a great read of the defensive setup and also wonderful anticipation of the movement of her teammates before the pass. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. Fourth quarter action getting started. Pass to McCowan. Back to Agumawale. Howard. Outside Agumawale. Shoots over Diggin Smith. And Agumba Wale gets it to go. Well, it's tough to stop Agumba Wale when she's letting it rip. She can get those shots off in a hurry. Now here's Russell, guarded by Sally. Russell misses. Well, this is why you need good defenders inside contesting shots. Yeah, making every shot a tough shot, even in tight. Now here's Howard. Back to Lopez Seneschal. Inside to take the lead and the layup to Shai Howard. We've seen this before. Howard playing with some power down low, which is right past the contact to the bucket. Pass to Agumake. Agbagor with the ball. McCowan defending. Agumawale with the steal. The court come the wings on the break. Damn good that time. Yeah, I'd say that shot was well within her range. I hope so. There's nothing like a one footer. We've got about one and a half minutes into this fourth quarter. Pulls up. Nails the baby hook. I like how Mac McCord picks her spots on offense. Knows when to look to score inside. Dallas in the lead. To the left wing. It's stolen by Ogumake. Pass to Diggins Smith. Gets the bucket and the foul! That one on Ogumake. And the concentration of Skyler Diggins Smith, despite the foul, able to get the ball in the basket. What determination! After missing the 2019 season due to childbirth, Skyler Diggins Smith has come back better than ever. A couple of first team all selection Skyler really stepping up her shooting, especially from beyond the arc, arguably the best point guard in the game. With multiple WNBA All-Star Game appearances already, Diggins Smith has really made a name for herself in this league. Now here's a Google Wallet. Lucas Michal outside. Back to Google Wallet. Shoots over Diggins Smith. And again, it's Dallas converting. She came out of the locker room smoking. Great second half for her so far. Here's Diggins Smith. Good D by Natasha Howard. Down low. Got a piece of it. Lopez and Ashal outside. Pass to Ogumbawale. Fires it. Back to Lopez and Ashal. Here's Ogumbawale. Guarded by Diggin Smith. Clock at four. A Cowan with the bucket. With the size advantage as big as it was right there, that's exactly what she should do in that situation. Take it strong to the middle. Now here's Diggin Smith. Pass to Russell. Roy with it. And here's Mengiadu. Guarded by Savoy. And Mengiadu gets it to go. That's the area where they'd like all their shots to come from. 
up top, Sully. Let's kick out Kobe Mawale. Back to Howard. From outside the arc. Good on the triple. Great recognition on the catch and shoot. Howard understood exactly how much time she had. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Mengiadu. Ogumake, guarded by Howard. Boy, from long range. McCowan with the rebound. Outside, Agumawale. Here's Savali. Good once again. That makes her eight for nine this game. I respect to Savali taking charge in a key moment. She walks the big shot. Now, as they also Seattle, you have to like what we're seeing from Satu Sabali. She's absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and try to figure a way to slow down with it. They're all over it right now. They never seen how this is going to happen like this at all. You know, I have to say, this is just pretty insane. And I can't really say what goes in because that is just unbelievable. Not even anybody who wants to take out of it because that is just crazy to do. Okay, speaking of the crazy game, we have a next game that are coming up for the WNBA on TK Sports. The next game we will be seeing is the Atlanta Dream, facing against the Connecticut Suns at the Mohegan, Mohegan Sun Arena. Okay, following along with the next game, we've got the Mystics versus the Fever. That's going to be on the other side of it too, so we can't miss that one out there. But the best part of the game, a Caitlin Clark. And finally, we have the Link versus the Sparks. Now we all the games here only on some of these. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out other videos as well with the NBA of the, of the regular season and the NHL. But they're coming back here pretty soon, so that's happening on November 30th and December 3rd on some of these. Don't miss out. Your chance to get back to you, buddy. Gonna be a crazy one, let's hope it is. And here are the storm now. Trailing by five. Boy, with the bucket. We love to see how cool Time out. Dallas wins. She goes up the attacks and she's fine for the bucket. Dallas calls timeout. They've been committing a lot of turnovers. Taking care of the basketball has to be the number one topic in the huddle, I'm sure. They need to tighten things up. It's a pretty close game out there. You can probably see it here. Yeah, it looks like it is. Give me our one that's gonna try and like land stuff and down and hopefully it may not be anybody that's good looking at it. It's it's gonna be a little hard to take over this, but you're not gonna see what those can. You're expecting right now. If something happens badly, you know what's gonna happen next. Something that nobody has ever seen it like this before. I'm hoping that this is a hard one that they're gonna try to do. Hopefully there's a good switch. Let's see if there is a good comeback. Get right into it. Lopez Seneschal with it. 
the final score. Now the three. That's the four. Seattle the four. 66. Run away wins, but one they'll feel very good about. Look, I think it's time to get going a little bit. Look at the fact that they did. You should feel good about it. A really outstanding team effort. So that's going to do it for this one, folks. So with Blake, along with Tib and O'Brien, thanks for tuning us on 2K Sports. See you later, everybody. Alright guys, thank you so much. A biggest on the mark that the swings has pressed it on at Climate Pledge Arena and they took it over. Sounds so crazy as this, and this is what happens now with the way going fast rates everywhere. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 63 field goals for the Dallas Wings, 35 for the Seattle Storm on the free pointers, and it was 75 for the free throws for the Dallas Wings. Both guys received 12 fast break points, only 44 and 10 for points in the paint and second chance points for the Dallas Wings. Then it was 12 bench, bench points for Seattle Storm. 24 assists here for the Dallas Wings, they are just pushing it up the P. Offensive rebounds was only 12 for the with Seattle Storm. And 21 defensive rebounds was Dallas Wings. Five steals broken up for Seattle Storm to take it away. And there are no blocks in this game. Nobody got the fleck in it, and this one didn't work out really well. Only four turnovers was the Seattle Storm. But it was 14 fouls for the Dallas Wings. And it was happened to be the eight point biggest lead of the Wings, 14.53 for the Seattle Storm. Now it's time to send you over to Roy Cruz for your three star players in the game. Alright, thank you so much. Time to get right into this one here. As I saw over the number third spot, this is what they were just expecting it. It was a Ricky Akamawali that had to be what 16 points to done with one rebound and two steals with nine assists. And he had 11 field goals that no already made, and this wasn't even the easier way to take. The Rudy 7 before one set for were not bad at all, but the scoring is putting a breakdown on them. They couldn't let that one keep up with the flow. Now for the number two spot, I've got a great feeling in between. What they are expecting now, they have played it like that. It was Satire Sabali had to put it up 19 points with four rebounds and four assists. He only had made eight out of ten field goal range, and that one just kept on flying by. And it was that 27 performance effort. Now this turned to be like it's a gradient on a, on a fly down. That was just incredible. And your first star player of the game, it goes to Chihuahua Lloyd with 25 points and only 4 assists. He only made out 11 out of 16 field goals for percentage in the range. And this one has gotten crazy amount to take the change off. 3 three-pointers out of 7. That wasn't even easier enough to take in a better choice. Only 3 34 performance effort. Brought it up to the list. And that was just how incredible that is for Lloyd. He just made she made this with like all-time scoring breakdowns against the Wings. But that wasn't easy enough of how they did. And so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this part of the game. We got our next game that's underway. Keep your eyes peeled on. It's the dreams facing against the Suns. That's happening here in Connecticut. So make sure you tune into that game here if you're ready for game number four. In the meantime, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again for next time. Peace out, folks, for a while. That's the NBA. Nope, it's a WNBA on 2K Sports dial. This is Tyler and, of course, Roy Cruz thanking you for watching. We'll see you later there, folks, for the next part of the game, and don't forget to subscribe to his channel. If you don't, somebody will. Hasta la pasta. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.